Hello, this is Charles Young II, uh, host of A Different Perspective of Life. Uh, I want to talk uh, just a few minutes on finding your niche. Uh, last year, about this time, I wrote a book entitled How to Find Your Niche or Charles Young, What's My Niche? Um, I'm going to rewrite it and hopefully uh, republish it and go more in detail on what I mean by finding your niche. Now understand we must define what a niche is before we understand how to find it. For example, I'm a writer. I write books. I can write for newspaper. I can write for a magazine. Now, finding your niche is writing. Now, no, excuse me, your gift is writing, but your niche might be writing articles for a magazine. Your niche might be writing uh, for a company. Your niche might be being an author. Your niche might be uh, writing scripts. You understand what I'm saying? You are gifted as a writer, but your niche might be something else that entails your writing that can help you, enable you to find exactly what it is that you were born to do. Now, in order to do this, you must have, I wouldn't say have, but you must have a desire or know what you're good at. That's the whole key. Knowing what you're good at, and once you find out what you are good at, perfecting it to the fullest. Now, with some of us, that is where our problem is. We might be good at something, but we have not perfected what we're good at. Or we might have a gift for doing something, but not have an understanding on how to mold and shape that gift where it can bring revenue into our lives, where, where it can be blessed by it. So we must know what our niche is, but first we must know how we are, uh, what's the word I'm trying to use, uh, mold, shaped, and designed. Everybody, say for instance, I don't want to say everybody, but some people want to write, but some people want to write a book, but don't have the discipline to sit down a month, a year to write a book. Some people might have a desire to write an article for a magazine, but um, don't have the insight to know how to put words in a smaller synthesis to make a point. Therefore, they go beyond explaining what they're trying to say. Instead of condensing that down to a small or a few sentences to make a point. Some people can write and, um, you know, but don't have the ability to write a script or to uh, put themselves in the second or third person to write a play. So you got to know exactly what, what you're gifted at, but how you're wired. Because that's the whole key. Knowing yourself what you're capable of doing and not doing. If you know exactly what you're good at, but know what your weaknesses are, as well as your strengths, then you'll know exactly what to focus on and what to perfect and what to leave alone. See, it's not, it's not that saying. Um, uh, Jack of all trades, but not a master of one. It's okay to be good at some things, but you must master that one thing that you're really good at. In order to do that, you must know exactly how you're wired and how you're programmed, what you like and what you dislike. You must be honest with yourself. If you can be honest with yourself, knowing exactly what you like and what you dislike, what you're capable of doing and what you're not capable of doing, you can be, you'll be on your way of finding your niche. Believe me. Some people can speak very well. The whole key is, who are you designed to speak to? That's the key. See, some people are good speaking to men. Some good are good speaking to women. 
Some good, are, some are good speaking to children. Some are good speaking to teenagers. Some are good speaking to business people. Some good are speaking are good speaking to educators. Some are good speaking uh, to church members. So you have to know who your audience is, but you must know how you're wired and what you can do and what you can't do, what you're good at, what you cannot do, what you have a passion for. If you look deeper into yourself, and if you pray, or if you don't say, I'm not a Christian, so I don't pray. But right now, what I'm good at on one side, what I'm not good at on another side, what I like on one side, what I don't like on another side, and be honest with yourself, you'll find out what your niche is. Well, thank you for taking the time out to listen to me. Until next time, you stay blessed and you have a nice day.